certainly Lo Kian Yu with a good uh, good showing. So this is going to be a huge test, and certainly Widianto and Pospita Dili who are facing camera. They're at the far end, and it's Dili will serve. They will be the clear favourites for this. Indonesia to serve. Liki Putita to Ron Kian Hien. Lefon play. And into the body of the female. That's uh, it's a target. It's a fair target. One zero to Indonesia. Really tough. Singapore, not only have they got to overcome the mental inadequacies, they've got to really push themselves around, get accurate as much as they can with the technical and physical side. There you go, it's going to be really difficult. Well, yes, at the moment they are being pressured everywhere. Uh, like you always said, keep the shot in play, keep it in play, keep it in play. Is that as easier than doing it? variety of play there good mixed doubles here good mixed doubles good defense as well Singapore great rally it's out of court but what a great rally that was 4-0 and a lot of it. entertainment there beautiful work particularly by Lo Kian Hien Oi. was it out <laughs> it, was it, in, it was in, yeah. So one four. Four. Yeah, one well four. done. So it will be uh, Wei Han to serve. <laughs> Just over, two I think. Four. No, it was shorter than that. Okay, well, that's good stuff. Two four. Nice get. Yeah, it was, and that's oh. a brilliant shot. What a shot that yeah, was. Yeah, beautiful oh. shot from Lo Kian Hien. Oh, that was like a cross. Look at this one. From one end, oh. I didn't think that Widianto expected that. He went off uh, a little bit to his right. Oh, no, again. he was there. He took it early, and that, that was a great strategy, but didn't quite make it. Five, three. Make the line. Another very young player, in fact, two young players from Singapore. So is over. Been given the opportunity. Four, and look at this, they are fighting hard. 4 5. <laughs> Out of court, well played. There's almost an element of arrogance about that leave. I liked it. Very good. Five all. Where's the fist now? <laughs> Probably looking for me. <laughs> Oy. Shaky. I've been really giving you, bolstering your pride. Come on, you've got to support. Six five. Don't stick the serves into the net. There you go. And another. Oh, yes. Where did it go? Absolutely. You guessed it. No one can target. They should just wear a target shirt, aren't they? Exactly. That would be good. Hey, yeah. I don't think we get away so with that so in many countries. Six, no, you don't. Seven. <laughs> further back than the last miracle shot that he played, but uh, that means it's 8-6 to Indonesia. One a shot. Oh, oh, just out. Just called wide. But they are competing very well here. This is uh, putting a good... Oh, la, la, don't do seven, that. The seven, second time. Nine, seven. Ouch.
us. Yeah, why didn't you target where you normally were targeting? It was so long, that one, but um, gratefully accepted by the Singapore duo. 8-9. Return by one hand. Ah! Ah! Oh. Man, that's short she, as well. So nine all. Nine. Very she good. Missed that one, did she? Very oh, good. Right, that she was late. She's going forward. Well, they've already entered into the spirit of this match. That's very good. They've taken advantage of some of the opportunities, and Lo and Tan are working really well together. I was going to say there's lots of space down here on the forehand side. Didn't need it. Go down to the middle. The middle. Yes, exactly. always. 11 9. And that is the interval in the first game. And uh, Indonesia's Ricky and Richie are certainly in control, although brave efforts by Low and Tan at the moment to stay in touch. That's the first time I see the umpire asking the coach to leave. Nikita. You know? Interesting. Interesting that he would want Play. to stay for so long. <laughs> 11 9. Okay, good shot. Nice play. Easy, simple, nine. uncomplicated. Very nice. 12 9. A bit of hiding behind oh. that was really interesting because do you remember when uh, we had some controversy where this Probably server player, yes. behind the the women they're not showing the shuttle and there was an element of that with that previous one it's 39 uh -huh. well the last twice it's gone into the net not this time that's Call in. It in. Yeah, 11-13. Yes. Both. Ah, both went for it. Yes, they need to speak to one another. 14-11. It's 14-11 in the first, but... It's very good for the Singapore duo, the new Singapore duo. They are working very hard at the moment, but a bit of pressure there, flat and deliberate and very good now from Ruchi. Yeah, I won't be surprised. This Singaporean players will be playing in SEA Games. You know, we'll be seeing them. Could well be. Yes. 16-11. SEA Games, of course, in Singapore next year. Not for many years, but of course they've got the brand new sports hub. It's a wonderful facility. Oh my gosh, yes. In fact, I'll be going back there to do a netball event in a couple of weeks' time. Oh. <laughs> Just before the end of the year? Yeah, I was. Obviously, I'm out here to do this, so I was asked if I would just take a little s side trip and no problem. Of course, my daughter's still living there, so... Okay. Very good opportunity. That 
that was him. Yeah, it was. Good play. Nice work. 13-17. That's white that time. 18-13. Well, they are battling well, but again, Ricky Widianto and Richie Dilly are really just controlling when it matters, when it really counts. Lots of enthusiasm, though, on the Singapore side, that's for sure. Oh, yes. just missed it there, Mr. Lowe. But one thing about we like about the Singapore, they're young, they're having fun, they're having fun. So they can see from their face that they're playing for improving. Very enthusiastic, yes. and I tell you, I've, in the hotel, they're all full of, um, you know, good greetings as well. They're, uh, they're in the spirit of the Axiata Cup, that's for sure. They're uh, certainly smiling everywhere, and it's, it's good. I like them very much. They're a good quality team. Although they're very young. It's going to be tough, though, when you've got that kind of experience. Dilly comes in with a big one. 20 points to 14. And Ricky Widianto well, could finish it off here. Goes long. Oh, Outside. It's 15-20. Very rarely when one serve to finish it off. Always something. See, this is the one that you mentioned. The girl is uh, blocking the view. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Down the middle, it's in. It's game. It's 21-15. And Ricky Budianto and Richie Pospita Dili are uh, in the lead by one game to nil. This is the final match of this uh, first session, Indonesia versus Singapore. And Indonesia will take an unassailable lead and certainly, well, they're already confirmed for the semi-finals in Kuala Lumpur next weekend. But um, there's no doubt at all that they'll be wanting to get every single match confirmed as well and uh, give us as much entertainment as possible. There's no way they'll be holding back, and it just shows. Widianto and Dilly have put on a good show for us there. Brave from Lo and Tan, but in the end, they are just just a fraction behind the pace. Second game, Dilly will serve. Oh. And Ricky will put his opponent on the floor. 1 0. This could be one way. Let's hope Try not, but yeah, yeah. You, were, you could be right. Yeah. It's out. One, two. Something's over. One, two. Something's over. Whilst it's Three, early one. days in this, uh, or early moments in this second game, let me just explain to you. Some people are a bit confused over the point scoring system. And indeed, I had Something's a few over. sort of collie wobbles two. yesterday. The actual Axiata Cup rules and regulations are that every match adds a point to the team score. So this, if this ends up in 4-0 for Indonesia, Indonesia will gain four points in the round robin. They already have 14 points 
in the competition so far. So after this match, if they win it, they will have 18 points. Singapore have won five matches throughout the competition, so they will remain at five matches. The interesting thing comes when Thailand, who have already, they've also got 14 uh, matches confirmed, that means 14 points. They, uh, we have Europe All-Stars, Asia All-Stars, and Malaysia fighting for third and fourth position to go through to KL. So every match still counts enormously, particularly amongst those three teams. At the moment, Europe All-Stars have 10, Asia All-Stars have nine, Malaysia have seven. That's all after four matches played. Malaysia have got a couple more uh, easier, perhaps, matches, although the big one will be tonight when Malaysia play the Euro All-Stars, and that at 6 o'clock means Five, a big showdown. If Euro take that, Malaysia are in danger then of not actually getting to Kuala Lumpur. But the saving grace is that they will be still playing Singapore later on, and they... Uh, That'll be the last match uh, of the competition on, the, on this court. And they've also got the Philippines to play, who've not been performing particularly well, although they've just picked up a couple of points against Vietnam. So I hope that explains it, that really every single match that's played does have an importance in the overall round-robin system scoring and that the table, the uh, qualifying table ultimately in the rank order will certainly be affected by that. I've said enough. Yes, that's a good one about the point right now. Uh, Indonesia and uh, Thailand has done remarkably, and uh, I think they're in favor to make it all the way to the yep. uh, Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia. But once again, that third position, fourth position, fifth, even sixth position, the four teams are still fighting for the last two uh, places. And just in case you were wondering about the the financials, if I can find it somewhere, the uh, the team that uh, finish in last place, in eighth place, Seven still pick up twenty thousand dollars U.S. Seventh place, thirty thousand. In sixth place, it's forty thousand. In fifth place, it's sixty thousand. It's, it's more than yeah, we thought. Yes. Yeah. And then the fourth place. So the guys that go to uh, to Kuala Lumpur. Guaranteed $100,000, even if they lose. <laughs> Third place, 150. Second place, 200,000. And if you win it, wow, 400,000 US dollars before the festive season. <laughs> I think I know what to do with it. <laughs> you do? I said I think I would if I were in the running. I'm not in the running. I'm a poor, <laughs> humble commentator. Just a few crumbs off the table for us. Yeah. <laughs> but it is indeed 60,000 to 100 to just get into the Kuala Lumpur is a huge difference. You know? Nine points to eight, second game, oh. and just picked up one there for 10. Indonesia, yeah, are still in control, but again, it has to be said this uh, very dogged resistance by Lo Kian Hien and Tan Wei Han is very impressive. Yeah, no, I make yes. a habit of make, making these great comments and then being let down, don't I? 11 points to 8. We go to the, uh, the interval. But it is a super format. You know, around the hotel, we're all staying in the same hotel with the players and so on. They are absolutely determined, not just for themselves, but for uh, their colleagues, their, their mates, to do really well in order to, to make, make sure it. that they're not letting them down. It's not themselves, it's not it's, necessarily yeah. their country, because obviously the, uh, the Asian All-Stars, the European All-Stars... They have three different four oh, yeah. 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 They've got different countries they represent. But the most important thing, they get together as a, as a team, and they don't want to let the team members down. It's, uh, it's fascinating. Uh, you mentioned about yesterday, uh, Bankier was upset. Oh, she's so, she was upset at breakfast, I can tell you, because she didn't win last night. And again, I don't think it's because of herself. I think she Eleven feels she's let the, the team down. It's a, it's a fascinating psychological system. Right, so we're back we into play. It's 9-11, and Singapore will serve with Loki and Hien.
simple, easy shot. Just cut on it a little, quit on it a little bit. 12-9. Yeah, the Singapore needs to find a way to find a combination. She got there beautifully, footwork nicely into position, and then just essentially missed the shuttle. Oh, out of court. I want to say that's the yeah, uh, two in a row. Th not the, you know, the strength. Nine. Yeah, she had the bracket open. 14-9. And that's another shot from miss hit Dilly. Two. Yeah. It was a miss hit. Nine. It'll do. 15-9. Oh, what a comeback. Yeah, it was, but a uh, nice follow-up and Some good zone. finishing. 10, 15. We've lost the shuttle for a couple of moments, but uh, yeah, you take nothing away from the attitude and some ways the aptitude of these two as well. Mm -hmm. Lo Kian Hien and Tan Wei Han done a great job. They've done a good show for us here. 21 15, they're already up to 10 here. 10 15. That's out. Yes. That's 11 15. Good eye. 11 Australian? 15. No. Good eye? No, not good day. <laughs> good eye. <laughs> oh, Oprah ambitious there. <laughs> well, he had so 15. many chances to kill it. Yeah, 12 15. So I just drop it, you know? Yep. There is some good rallying, but that final point, stay, stay really, really in contact with the rally. No point getting too excited. Lovely returns. Ah, oh. oh, yeah, yeah, dilly, dilly, dilly. Yeah, you just said it, lovely yeah. return, and then she moved forward. Yeah. That was great defending, and then she decides to put it into the net. 13-16. Excuse Kian me, Hian. I think there's a warning. Don't forget to ask you, I think she needs to tell the referee if she wants to change the shuttle. shuttle. Okay. Yes. After all, still gentleman games, isn't it? Not very ladylike. No. Can't. Fourteen. Yeah, the umpire is Ramida. Um, that's the name. Oh, come on, man. All right, I'll give it to you. Asawaposo. 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 That's not so difficult. No, I told you, just split it up. Make it each uh, syllable. Read each syllable separately. 17, 14. Four. That's out. Oh, it was touched, was it? Yes, it was touched. Yeah. 15, 17. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, but he's given it to you. She, he, yes, he's yeah. She has given it to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's still arguing. He's scared. <laughs> Allah, that was very funny. Yeah. No Kian Hien didn't realize that the umpire had called the fault. <laughs> <laughs> and gave the point. And given it the point. Uh huh. 16 17. Oh. So, an improvement on the first game. Are we going to see a little bit of big drama here at the end of this mixed doubles? 16-17. Oh, uh -huh. Fantastic. Good land. John, yeah. that is fantastic how Wei Han oh. waited very patiently. Oh, my. This is not going to be easy. No, but she, again, the most important thing is she kept it in play. 
And then when the opportunity came, Kian Hen, he's wow. uh, he's not one for hanging back. He saw the opportunity to attack, made it 17 all. Good stuff. Well, considering they are playing against the present ranked number 11 uh, double, mixed doubles pair in the world, Kian Han and Wei Han are playing brilliantly. Wow. <laughs> My statement still stands. So and so yes. 18-17. Great. Oh, that's lovely. Yes. Nice work from Ricky. 19, Ricky Widianto upsetting his former colleagues. Two points from victory. One point from victory, 20 points to 17. 20, a little moment of concern 17. there for the crowd at 17, or why should they need to worry? 21 15, 20 17, match point, Indonesia, that's it. 21 17, Indonesia have had a perfect day on day five. They have won against Singapore by four matches to zero and now go to the head of the table with 18 matches altogether, so that's 18 match points in Indonesia, the competition. And they 15, certainly 21, have not 15. only guaranteed their place in Kuala Lumpur next weekend, but they may well be the, the top team to go up and they could then be the favourites. But we have had the privilege of seeing some wonderful play here, and particularly, of course, with the men's doubles, where Kido with Setiawan gave us such a thrill just by being on court. I agree with you. Seeing the Olympic gold medals reunited for this one event, I think it's wonderful. The outcome was never...